How to Automate Encryption and Decryption Part 1 So the audience that I have in mind for this video are my fellow teachers. I wish to share to you, my fellow teachers, what I am doing for this part in our course, Mathematics in the Modern World. So Math System is our topic for the uh, semifinals after the midterms. This is the list of topics under mathematical systems. Modular arithmetic, cryptology, binary operation, groups, and finite groups. For cryptology, this is my students' major project. I will give them, each one of them will receive a ciphertext and an encryption key. They will decode the message that is behind the ciphertext. But in order for them to do that, they must first solve the encryption key. So the encryption key is in the form of a linear congruence equation. Y is congruent to 8 times X plus B modulo 26. 26 here stands for the number of letters in the English alphabet. So they will solve the encryption key to produce the decryption key. They will apply the decryption key on the ciphertext and the output will reveal to them the message. And the message contains an instruction. It is somewhat like a mission. They will perform and record in a video what is contained in the message. And the video after video editing and video enhancement Okay, so they will use their skills in video editing here. So the whole output, the video, must not be more than 3 minutes. This is my rubrics for scoring their videos. They will upload their videos in Facebook. So we have a group for our subject in Facebook. This is a screenshot of one of the videos. Uh, that my student did. So upon deciphering the secret message, the secret message reveals that he must draw a river using watercolor. One of my students showed to us how she was able to decode the message. Actually, I did not require my students to do it. I did not require them to show to me how to solve it. Because once they have done the mission, draw a draw a mountain i am assuming that they were able to extract the message behind the cipher text so actually they did not need to show how they were able to extract the message but this student did and the message is cook your recipe for a special fried rice So in under three minutes, she was able to demonstrate, to record in a video, the ingredients that went into her special fried rice and how she cooked it. Let us review what takes place in cryptology. So you have a plain text. You will send this as a secret code with the help of an encryption key. The encryption key will take on the form y is congruent to a times x plus b modulo 26. The output is a ciphertext. The student who receives the ciphertext must produce the decryption key, which is the solution for x in this, in this congruence equation. So this is going to be x is congruent to c times x plus d modulo Okay, this is why, this is why. Modulo 26. Upon applying the decryption key on the ciphertext, it will reveal the secret message, which is just the plain text of the message. Well, if you were to look at it, it sounds simple. It sounds easy and straightforward. But what makes this difficult for a teacher is... We have many students. We cannot just produce one cipher text for the entire class to solve. That is easy. Okay, you are not challenging each one of them. So the ideal situation is 
for the teacher to produce as many ciphertexts as there are students in the class. And that is where this undertaking becomes difficult for a teacher. So in my class, for example, in one class, in one section, I have something like 45 students. And I have five sections of mathematics in the modern world. Well, I plan only to produce 45 ciphertext, and I will just give the same set of ciphertext to my other sections. But this is a challenge. It is a challenge to produce 45 plain text and transform them into a ciphertext. It's going to be a challenge. So in my class record, in one sheet in Excel, I have this list. So this is the list of my plain texts, the encryption key, and the cipher text. I will show you an example. So the plain text is Dance Love Shot by EXO. EXO is a boy band, uh, a boy group in Korea. They are good in dancing and singing. And by the way, I chose to, to give this as one of the missions because I also love to dance. I like to dance. So the string of characters in the first row is our plain text. The numbers in the second row is the equivalent integers for these letters. So we, where did this uh, equivalence come from? It came from this. Each letter stands or has an equivalent integer. So naturally, A is number 1. B is 2, so on and so forth. And so I will apply now the linear congruence equation. This is the encryption key to this string of integers. The output is the string of integers in the third row. And then again, one by one, I will produce the equivalent letters for each of these integers. And so you can see this is not going to be an easy task for a teacher if he or she were to do this manually. So we have to automate this, and I will show it to you in the next video. We will automate it using Excel. Before you jump into preparing your plain text, encryption keys, and uh, cipher text, we must return to this important theorem in linear congruence equations. So a linear congruence equation, A and n are relatively prime. A and n are relatively prime if their greatest common divisor is 1. And by the way, n here is 26. So you will choose from among the integers less than 26 which of them are relatively prime to 26. These are those integers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, so on and so forth, up to 25. 